What you see before you, ladies and gentlemen, is the IE fish tank. You've probably seen it quite a few times before. You probably also think that this is my only real interaction with animals, virtual or otherwise, and you'd be correct. Anyway, um, this is probably the best example of HTML5 2D canvas hardware acceleration. Um, it's the best example that I can show you on my screen. It's the best example that I can show you all four side by side. Um, there will be many people that complain that it's not a fair test. I can tell you that I've run them all individually and the results are very similar, but you just have to take my word for it. Anyway, in the top left corner we have uh, 11 point 50, uh, the recent Opera build with WebGL and hardware acceleration enabled. In the top right we have IE9 release candidate, which also has hardware acceleration uh, and no WebGL support. Uh, in the bottom left corner we have Chrome 10 beta with uh, compositing and hardware acceleration turned on. And in the bottom right corner we have Firefox 4 beta 12, which is the last beta! How exciting is that? Oh, oh, beta for my American friends. Anyway, uh, we're just going to run through these four browsers with lots of fish to see which one performs the best. Here we go. Let's step up to 100 fish. As you can see, they all handle it with gusto, except for Chrome, which still kind of, it always stutters, even depending on, even when you only have a few fish. Um, which is why we think that uh, it's not on by default, even in the stable build of Chrome. Um, and in fact, uh, when Firefox 4 is released and IE9, um, it will be the only main browser that doesn't have hardware acceleration on by default, which is rather odd. Um, all the other three browsers here are doing just fine. Let's uh, step it up a bit. Let's go to 500. won't let me scroll up. How embarrassing. Here we go. As you can see, they're all still pretty damn good. Those of you that remember this test from last year, uh, at this point, I think it was only Firefox that could do anything. Again, you can see Chrome stuttering in the bottom left corner. Okay, on to the last. Let's do Opera last, actually, just to show you some excitement. Okay, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my! Look at Opera with a thousand fish. And it's getting up to 60. Ah, almost. And Chrome and Firefox kind of hanging in there but not quite. An IE9, love it or hate it, really is sitting at 60 FPS. It does that when it's on its own, by the way. It does it, uh, it just sits at 60 FPS. It's very hard to get it off. It's probably due to some special DirectX hacks. Um, Opera uses OpenGL rather than DirectX. Um, but Firefox also uses DirectX under Windows 7. So who knows? It could be a better implementation or it could be some secret Microsoft source. Anyway, uh, we're going to go on to the only other test which you can really do side by side, which is speed reading. This is also a good example of 2D Canvas, which is really the technology that HTML5 games uh, need. Okay, we're going to run these one at a time because I can't click start on all of them at the same time, I'm afraid. Come on Chrome, okay. Uh, let's start with Chrome, actually. Uh, these normally have sound effects, which I've turned off, just so you can hear my thrilled and excited voice. If you can read this, by the way, you're very good at speed reading. <laughs> Almost done, Chrome. Come on. 19 seconds. 
Okay, so I knew that was the slowest, but I don't actually know which of these three is the fastest. So let's do Firefox. Um, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> maybe Firefox is slower than Chrome. I don't know if I can sit here and watch this. Oh, this is painful. Okay, let's leave Firefox. Let's uh, do IE9. Let's uh, watch IE9 uh, overtake Firefox here. Come on, Firefox! Maybe I should switch. Oh, IE9's finished. And here we go with Opera. Oh, it's going to be close. Seven seconds. How about that? You can actually see some statistics down here, uh, which basically define uh, how quick it is at redrawing the screen and the kind of blur that you get. If you remember the Chrome run, it was very uh, blurred. Let me see if I can show you. I can't scroll down. I'm going to show you. There you go. So you can see the draw duration here 19 milliseconds, 18. And here it's only six, six. Anyway, um, as you can see, Opera is comparable to IE9. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of HTML5 standard support, uh, but it does have WebGL. And also it's only a very early alpha build from the folks in Norway. Um, so we're very excited to see what the next build brings, uh, especially the next Barracuda build thing.